I want to say to everyone, good evening. It's great to have you here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jamie Centeno. I'm the lead pastor of In the Light, and I welcome you into our space today. You should know that our church, uh, we are nonpartisan church, and encourage people to vote based on their principles written in God's word and not on political parties. When I was approached by a, the pastor friend of mine in Philly as to whether I would be willing to let, our, let the Trump campaign rent the facility to use it as a time to encourage people to vote their values and pray for this election in our country and our country's leader, I promise you, I wasn't thinking, you know what? I don't have enough internet trolls in my life. <laughs> Making angry accusations online, this will help. <laughs> or 2020, it's, it's, it's on its way out, but it's been too uneventful. What decision can I make to bring some controversy this way? Rather, I was thinking, I will help my friend out, and what harm can come from rallying people to pray to God, to our God in heaven. And the bonus was my new friend, Reverend Sammy Rodriguez, was coming to share during the time, whose primary allegiance, like mine, isn't to a donkey or an elephant, but to the Lamb of God. And I want to take a moment to thank all the leaders who reached out to me and came from a place of curiosity to incite a conversation rather than accusations of what I appear to be doing. For those of you that might not know me, here's some quick facts. I love, I love and serve Jesus Christ, and I decide daily to take up my cross and follow him. I love the city of Philadelphia. I love our city's historic significance. I love its people. I love my Latinos. I love empanadas and cheesesteaks. <laughs> Not at the same time, though. Just they, I space them out. And I love all the city sports team, especially the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. But, 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 but even when I don't agree with how they're going about their season, do you know that you don't have to agree with someone or something, but you can still choose to love that someone or something? Where are my married folks at? Right? Where are my parents of teenagers at? You don't always uh, agree with them, but we still love on them. It is my belief that you can't trust someone to change something for the better, what they haven't loved at its worst. Something you might not know is we as a church have had a Philadelphia state representative, a council person, a nominee running for mayor that has been in this building so that we could pray for and bless them as a person. We didn't endorse them, but we did pray for them. I'll say it another way. We didn't need to agree with them in order to love on them through our prayers. That's what Christians do. And here's a family feud style question. What's the number one thing people like to accuse the church of being filled with? Hypocrites. And I would consider myself a hypocrite if I was only allowing one party to ask and receive prayer and not the other. One more time, as a church, we're not endorsing any party or politician, but we are endorsing prayer for our government leaders and for our country. We're endorsing the freedom to express praises to our God, and we're enduring patriotism that we should vote our values. Even though our heart posture is one of love for others, people will still not agree and still say vicious things. Does that statement remind you of the way they treated a certain historic someone? If you thought Jesus Christ, you thought right. While his heart towards humanity is a posture in love, we still crucified him because we didn't like his way of doing things. Tonight you're going to hear from some men of conviction. My prayer is that you leave with this simple understanding. Our vote is valuable, but our prayers are where the real power is at. Some of you want four more years. Some of you want no more years. For both of you, I will leave you with these words from Kanye West's album, that no vote or devil can change. Jesus is king. Amen. amen. You can say amen to that. <laughs> 